How much does your skill affect the way you look at a situation? Will a plat think the same as an iron? Can an immortal squeeze water from stone? Let's see, because I'm going to show four of my friends of different ranks, different Valorant situations, and testing them to see what they would do. My name's Aaron, and I'm Iron. My name is Monsasi. Hello, I'm Silver. Oh, hey, I'm SQ. I'm Plat. I'm Atomic, and I'm Immortal. All right, clip one. The first situation. It's a 1v4 as Omen. You get the first pick. You run away to use your ult and plant the spike. You grab the spike, you plant it, and... What would you do here? I would have it over there in that corner to the left. Yeah, and I'd smoke it, mm -hmm. like right in front of the smoke. I'd probably teleport into heaven. I honestly think you play, uh, you play close, like CT, try to get one, play in the smoke there, and then back off into like graffiti. It's because you really need to force a one v one. So the first thing I would think is you've just cut off a lot of angles that you could hold. That isn't a good situation to put yourself in in a 1v3. So I would have planted more in the corner so you would be able to peek from every angle, short, CT, heaven. So the next move I would do there is you need to start holding an angle where you can either get an aggressive pick and then get out, or you need to take a fight here. You need to push CT. Well, let's see how it went. No, it's all good, bro. Omen's got this. That was silly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit funny. I'll let yeah, this next clip yeah. speak for itself. I will never say never. I will fight. I will fight till forever. And now, what would you do here? Honestly, I would probably just hide on the stairs and wait for them to do something. Wait, are you? Are they defusing? Uh, well, my ult's about to pop, so I probably just take out my knife and start be hopping towards lane in case he's just camping lanes on So I don't think the third person would be on site. This guy's either market or he was B main. So your flank, Jet could have timinged you through mid. She could have immediately dashed toward where you ulted from from main, or she could have been in the in the little corner out front of doors. She could have been logs. There's so many places she could have been. At this time, I would immediately start going back, check your ult spot. Cause she could be right on top of you or she could be on the way. So I'd, I'd get as close as you can, throw the wall, cut it off and maybe you're lucky. To be honest, I wouldn't even ult it in the first place. Well, let's right see how it went. Whenever you knock me down, I will not stay on the ground. <laughs> All right, here's the next clip. You want to play? Let's spike play. Down a. 11 to 12, you're the last one left. Spike is down, you're getting fade ulted. What do you do? I would probably just ult again and then run up and try to get the spike. Ult in the direction of dugout. Because the reason being the ult should cover the kind of space where my enemies are probably at. You definitely need to use your ult because that's probably the only way you're going to beat Nob. Fade ult is coming from uh, uh, Secret. I would counter ult because you're a breach, you got your ult, and you have to win. It's the last round. That is what the immortal said. He would counter ult. Dude, See? I'm so smart, dude. You're so smart. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should be immortal. Well, let's see how it went. Oh, Chamber misses his shot here. What's your plan now? Try to go for the spike and like shoot him. I would try to, I would go towards the spike and like keep my body facing him and try to shoot him. But Fade's to... probably to the left and I would die. Fade is probably in flowers right now because that old came from flowers. So I just, so I, I, I want to look at flowers and then I'm going to kill kill Chamber. Yeah, I think you can definitely come out for the wall bang here. Probably reposition to behind like default. Try to aftershock him and then look for the Fade. I would back up, stun, swing fade, and then swing chamber after the stun's cut, after I've dealt with fade. Well, let's see how it went. One enemy remaining. Oh my god, you're so good, you're so good. Okay, here's the next clip. You're waiting, you hear nothing, and then... Omen. What do you do here? No, see, if it was me... 
<laughs> if it was me, I would shoot him. But I know you're not supposed to. Trigger discipline. Wait for one more. Then I kill the two because, like, I don't, I don't trust that like all of them are not gonna check me. Someone is eventually gonna look there, so I think you can try to push your luck with waiting for one more person. But definitely not more than three, just to guarantee you actually getting a kill. So I would wait a little bit longer to see if I can take out his buddy. And if I take it as buddy, I take Omen out, I throw smoke close, I put it up, I wait a few seconds, and then I try to cross out while throwing a molly on the smoke so I can get out safely to play uh, retake with the team in a 4v2 advantage. Well, let's see how it went. They're on me. Damn. That's oh exactly what goodness. I would have done. Yeah, you, you win those. You win those. <laughs> That's you <laughs> winning them right now. Yeah, this is these are actually my clips. That's my account. Mm -hmm. Here's the last clip. You get risky and go aggressive with a Bucky. Popping? And really? It pays really? off. What do you do here? Probably just like dash and then alt. And then because there's the rest of the team is probably there. Smoke and asks over to watch uh Kate. Hold close, you can bucky someone. You have smokes and dash up. So you can smoke yourself, you can smoke like cave entrance and you can dash away. So I would immediately calm to Sova uh, to dart for me, to dart for me cave. I would throw a smoke at the entrance way and maybe try to isolate that fight. But before any of that, I would grab Viper's gun. Well, let's see how it went. There might be doors. Help! Can you watch my cave? Yeah, okay. Oh, the situation's changed. You're up in numbers now and you just got a nice kill. What are you thinking now? I would probably try to go back to main. Now, what do you think? What are you thinking to do? Run. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have used the my dash on that kill. So I would take the fight against Sage first. Back up, take the fight, and then you could play uh, 4v2. Well, let's see how it went. They hit 100. I'm giving us like Where's this jet at? I got the ace. Right. Ace, 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 ace. ace, ace. ace. That's gonna ace. He's walking up to our broom. You should have gotten that. <laughs> Is there an option to just let somebody else do it? If you want the ace, and you're willing to throw stuff away for it, I would just pop knives, jump around the corner, updraft. <laughs> oh, he had the buck! <laughs> <laughs> you jumped up, though. That was good. I did jump. That's such a- that's kind of a troll. <laughs> Why would you grab the Bucky? Well, that was all five clips. If you want your clips to be the ones that are seen next, uh, join my Discord server. You can send them in the clips channel. But, uh, besides that, I think you should subscribe. You know I'm gonna be famous, you know I'm gonna blow up, so why not subscribe now so that you can be like, Oh, I subscribed to this guy before he was popular, and you get- you get bragging rights, you know? Get bragging rights. Okay, bye.